We're cruising into Dana Basin here. We got a couple boats. People are trying to figure out how they're gonna get this boat out of the water here. Look at this sailboat that's stuck. You guys are trying to figure it out back there. It's doing a wheelie. But I'm gonna go ahead and launch the solo skip. Let's get it. Buddy Mikey here, SD Fishing Tips. We're cruising up here to Dana Basin. About to launch the solo skiff out for some winter fishing outside of Mission Bay. In front of Mission Bay, Mission Beach, Pacific Beach. We're here through January. Right on, thanks. How'd you do today? Yeah, man, been a long time subscriber. I love it, love it. Right on, I appreciate that. Cool, man. Well, cool. you heading out now? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to cruise out. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make some bait uh, out front of the jetty and then drift on the bottom, all the wrecks from Mission Beach up towards uh, Crystal Pier. Might go down to Point Loma. I got a halibut, a keeper halibut on the, the double tube bait, the three-way swivel last Friday. Oh, sick. So yeah, that was 75 feet of water in Point Loma by Green Tank. Oh, right So on. I might head down there after. We'll see, it's, it should be a nice day. Yeah, man, well, good luck out there. There's a ton of bait coming in the channel because of the surf, so. Oh, really? How far, how, is it on the, it, where it rounds the corner right yeah. there in front of the point at going to the bait park? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, I'm gonna pick up, try to pick up some bait there and then yeah, make my way out. All right, have a good one. There you go. All right, so like I was saying, we're going through January. We're at Thursday, January 27th now, 2022, almost all the way through January and I'm all rigged out for the winter fishing. I've been going hard fishing all the bays. San Diego Bay, Mission Bay, doing it all. Dialing it in, just waiting for that springtime action to hit. Go ahead and get launched. Dang, it's got a ways to pull it back. The tide's sucking out fast. Put my transducer down here. There's another charter boat right there, Limitless. Looks like that's a new, that might be a new tower on it. That's pretty nice. That's more like a six pack boat. You can go on an overnight or a couple day trip like my buddy Mike on the Nomad, Mike Soar. So these guys are still trying to work this sailboat in the back of the <laughs> Home Depot rental. You're gonna winch it. Dang, that thing's all skewed and crooked. All right, here we go. Winter fishing, Mission Bay, and out front, Mission Bay. I just got the report as I was walking up. I believe his name was Kyle. He told me that he caught some sculpin by Hospitality Point, that there's some bait there too, that the bait's pushing in with the surf. So that's all good stuff. I got my Sabiki right here on the Penn Jigmaster. I got that double tube bait. That I got the halibut on outside of Point Loma. I'll flash the card for that video. Stoked on that. Thanks to Steven gave me these lures, these uh, two baits. And I met him, he hooked it up because I let him use my phone to call AAA at the Shelter Island. 
launch ramp when I went down to no that wasn't that uh, he went down to Imperial Beach that day and then I got the sand dog special I went to Dana landing to the tackle shop and picked up some more uh, treble hooks I have this size 8 treble hook mustad and then I have the mustad J hook just a little cheapy setup with the pound test I have on this is 25 pound fluorocarbon leader and then I, I got a sliding snap swivel to put the weight on six to eight ounce maybe a 10 ounce weight depending on how deep we'll be fishing but I'm gonna go out front Mission Bay and I'm gonna fish uh, 60 to 80 feet of water there in front of the roller coaster all the way down to Crystal Pier fish the wrecks fish the bottom dropper loop uh, three-way swivel just really focus uh, right on the bottom and see if we get a halibut maybe lucky with the shark or a white sea bass or a yellowtail you never know unless you're gonna get out there sand bass calico sculpin I gotta look up if sculpin is legal or not let's see let's check it out but before we get into today's video please 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 hit that subscribe button pound that like button show love and support for the channel thank you for all the love and support on the channel much appreciated so let me know you can email me scfishandsips at gmail or send me a message on instagram if you want a hat i'm gonna go get some more hats made by mr ben benzino tonight and that's what i love too i'm going out today thanks to jay on the premiere last night was suggesting to head out here to mission bay so jay thank you for all your info and knowledge this one's for you today we'll see if we can get on it and everybody else has been tuning in to the premieres i've been going hard three this week uh, i'm shooting for it's not it's the off season winter season so i can't wait till we get into the full-on summertime sport fishing season going out on the sea adventure 80 i'm going to touch bases with scott this little brain dump right there let's go ahead and get the fish finder turned on i'll get the live well turned on not gonna go with the tiller extension yet but it's a nice day really nice day today I have a good feeling good tide movement coming under the bridge Let's check out on the maps where we're gonna go today head out outside of Mission Bay here and this zone 60 feet all these wrecks here make it happen straight out this way on the other side the beach side tides just ripping out right now it's a full moon that's coming up sunday but for now we'll see if we can spot some bait we got the bait the live well turned on make sure got it plugged it sounds like it's running good yep okay next up we're going to try to make bait get some mackerel different sizes hopefully large and small see what's that little bait ball oh yeah another empty day on the water Woo loving it i love san diego i love you all beautiful world we got some bait here the point hospitality point all right, I just saw the bait in the water. Hopefully I can get it with this sabiki that I have, these larger hooks. I can see it in the water. The bait ball go. The bait ball's back here. You can't tell if it's just the spiral of the current or if it's bait. We got the sea watch coming out. They did good on sand bass and calico yesterday. I can follow them around. There goes the sea watch. Half day boat for sand bass, calico, sculpin. Oh, I gotta check to see. I didn't see sculpin on the count. Some of the boats have been going down the Coronado Islands. 
That's where I was supposed to be going the last couple times with Doug El Sueño on his boat down to Mexico for rock fishing, Coronado Islands. But haven't been able to make that happen. Maybe next week, something always comes up. We'll see. All right. There we go. Wow. Got one. Look at that. Big old smell. We'll go back over by the point. Over here by the point. That's a cool boat. It's like a trawler. Trawler boat. Smells a little funky. It's burning some gas. Tiny, tiny bait. They're actually scared of the sabiki. It seems like all these are little pockets of bait. I got one. Foul hook to micro bait. But I did manage. Look at that big smell. Nice big chunky smell. And then that other micro bait. It's showing up on the fish finder, but it's super small. So, we're heading out. Make my way out past the jetty. Work it that way. I see these little ripples right here. And it looks like we got a bunch of just micro bait moving all through the water here. Let's see if we can foul hook one again. Yep. I'm stoked. here for the inside game of making bait and head out past the five mile an hour zone. I'm not seeing any more, so we're gonna bring it in, then mash outside, try to make bait out there before we start fishing, but at least I got some smelt to drop down. I'd like to have mackerel, but I've heard about halibut getting caught on smelt. Here we go, right off the waves. It's almost like a side wave coming off of it. Lifeguard boat on the way out. Hopefully, there's some bait maybe up there where that uh, boat's at. On the side of the jetty, first we'll look over here. Watch the waves coming in. They're going out. They're coming in as I'm going out. The wake from the lifeguard boat, but we're making our way out. Ocean Beach Pier. Point Loma, where the halibut are at. Boya, dead life right now. Let's see, I see some birds straight ahead. Got some bait. Here we go, what do we got? Smell. Well, first little bait ball I saw was some smell. What do we got? Looks like there's bait over here. Is that from the wake from the boat? Cruising out front of Mission Beach right now. Crystal Piers to the north. I got a bunch of lobster floats here. Commercial guys. 
because we're near the structure, Mission Ray, Mission Bay Park, El Ray. That's where we're gonna go on some, there's some sunken ships out here, some structure on the bottom, 60 to 80 feet like Jay was saying, and they're all on the fish finder here. So I'm gonna drop down a smelt on the sand dog special right here on the trap rig with the carol, I'll put a uh, six ounce weight on that sliding sinker. Keep my eye out on the birds because they're starting to do something right here. There's a pack of them over there. But I'm gonna stay focused on the bottom. Let's check out the bait situation. There's the big boy smell. There's some of that micro bait. I got three, three big lively smell and two small lively micro bait. I'm not sure what those are. Shiners or something. Drop a comment if you know what they are. Okay, I'm coming up to the spot in about 80 feet of water, 75. I'm gonna take one of these smell and put it down on the trap rig. I have my dropper loop also. You can check out the video when I was fishing that in La Jolla. It's a good size. Through the nose for the trailer. Put this right here in his belly. That's a good bait. There we go. That's fishing the smelt here, Mission Bay. Go ahead and stick that down. Oh, but we need a weight. We'll do a lighter weight here. This is probably only a four or six ounce. Four ounce weight on the sliding clip. Okay. Just felt the bottom. We'll leave the clicker on. Fish in the smell. Live bait. Double two bait. Should be. Let's see, you got a pocket of buoys all right here. If I mark anything on the finder. Okay, coming into the next spot here, we got Crystal Pier, Pacific Beach in the distance. It's labeled as Pacific Beach Center on the fish finder. We got PB Point, surf is pumping over there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my smelt down. I'm not marking anything, but I'm still gonna go ahead there we go. Send it. Got the drag really loose, but it's in gear because of how much weight's on it. I want to put it right on the bottom. Next. Okay, no love on the bottom over here by Crystal Pier. Kind of feeling Point Loma with the smell. Maybe there's some more bait over there. I think I'm gonna just gonna cruise all the way. Over to Point Loma, I haven't seen much over here. See you later, Crystal Pier. All right, we're here in Point Loma. I'm gonna feel out a little bit with my two baits here. Go to the same spot that I picked up the halibut at. See if we get some sand bass or some calico bass on the two baits. Or an halibut on the two bait. Something on it. Can't tell if I'm getting bit by a fish. Feels like a fish is starting to bite it. Bait's gone. Nose hook. Barely big enough. Slide. Jeez. I'll just go ahead and put it to the app. Alrighty then. That's it. That's all for out here. 
I don't know what took my how my lost my last bait. If that was a fish or if it was just the bottom. It was probably the bottom. Kind of a crazy day. Made some smell inside the bay after seeing a fellow uh, a subscriber there at the lawn. Gave me the inside scoop. He did well on sculpting around Hospitality Point, the little jetty there. So that's where I searched for some bait, picked up some micro bait and some of these smell. This is the biggest, the biggest one that I got. And then threw those down the bottom out in front of Mission Beach, Pacific Beach, here in Point Loma, through the tube bait. Never really got on any fish, so that's how it goes. Signing off for here right now. We're gonna make our way back in against the wind that's starting to pick up. See you later, Point Loma. Thank you. Got fishing game, uh, cruising through, checking licenses. So always got to have the license good to go, available. And uh, like I was telling him, all I caught was just some smelt. He was asking me where I fished at, if I went outside, it, it was lumpy out there. All good, I think that was the guy that checked my license on the water last year. Coming back in, sailboat is still Oh, all the trailer try to get out of the water. We are in Dana Landing, cruising in. No, no, I'm good, thank you. Do you need help? So it, it sits on the keel like that? Yep. Wow. When the, when the Dang, in, the keel's that strong. When the tide comes in, it'll help raise the boat and I'll suck it down even more. And then the weight will bring it down to the ball. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're So this trailer is made for... Sailboat. Transporting sailboats. Yeah. So after How I many get, have you done? In, in my lifetime, probably about 250. Oh, wow. So there you have it. That guy's a expert sail yacht transporter. So he knows what he's doing. He's gonna make it happen. Didn't look like it, but talk with him. He knows his stuff. Classic characters everywhere, I love it. Well, that's it, that's all for this episode today. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, pound that like. Thanks for all the love and support. It's out. Okay, here we go. Cash clean cook with the smelt from Mission Bay. Caught some smelt with the sabiki. We're gonna go ahead and pan fry it up. Behind. And then along the spine. And then. For this one, I'm gonna scale it and fry it whole. Gut it, gill it, scale it, and fry it whole. See how it turns out. Try the fish scaler. These little pieces I'm gonna hit with the Cajun seasoning. And then olive oil. Oh. in the pan. Turn it on medium high. There we go with the smell. Whole fried smell panko. 
we got our little pieces, our fillets that we got off of that. The bigger smelt. We'll flip it after about a minute and a half, two minutes, the little pieces, and leave the other one on a little bit longer and the bigger, the whole piece. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the little pieces. Wait a little bit longer on the whole. I'm gonna do like five minutes per side on the big one. It's time to flip this bad boy. Take these guys off. Check right up. And pull this bad boy off. Okay, so that's what we're working with right there. Catch clean cook with the Mission Bay smell. Fried whole and fried in fillets. Two ways. Some rice and green beans. God, I really do like the whole fish fry. You just have to pull the bones, bone off of the meat and then you're just left with that. You don't have to eat the bones. It's really good. See, this is all meat off of the bone. 